Welcome to U.S. Customs and Border Protection's Office of Trade Learning Series. The purpose of today's video is to explain how members of the public and the trade community can report suspected trade violations through CBP's e-allegation portal. CBP uses information provided through e-allegations to investigate and enforce against unfair trade practices to protect American livelihoods and the economy, as well as consumer health and safety. You can submit e-allegations for a variety of suspected trade violations, including forced labor, duty evasion that does not fall under the Enforce and Protect Act or EPA, natural resource crimes, merchandise violations such as counterfeit or prohibited goods, and several others. Common e-allegations issued are listed on the Trade Violations Reporting Tool or TVR tool. However, a full list of trade violations that are filed through the e-allegations program is listed on the e-allegations homepage. cbp.gov forward slash trade forward slash e-allegations. From the homepage, select Report Trade Violations. This will take you to the first section of the TVR form. In the Contact Details section, select the Who Are You drop-down field. Informants who elect to report allegations anonymously will not have the ability to check on the status of the allegations submitted to CBP. Request records under the Freedom of Information Act FOIA, or make moiety claims in the future. If filing anonymously, select Next to continue the allegation. If you do not wish to remain anonymous, you can submit your contact information and details by entering your first name, last name, phone number, and email, and selecting Next to move to the Allegation Details section. For the Violation Description category, you can view best practices in reporting details by selecting the Information icon. The Product Category field also has a link to the U.S. International Trade Commission Harmonized Tariff Schedule for reference. Complete all applicable fields and click the Next button. In the Violator Details section, the only mandatory field is Violator Name. However, providing additional information about the violator can strengthen your allegation and assist CBP with its investigation. Enter the applicable fields and select the Next button. In the File Upload section, upload any relevant documents that will support the allegation. All file formats are accepted for upload. After you have uploaded the files, select the Next button. Finally, click Review and confirm the information you previously entered. Each section on the review page may be collapsed or expanded as needed. You can also review the DHS Privacy Act statement on this page to understand the purpose and authority for collecting your information, as well as how it will be used. After you are sure all the information you provided is correct, select the Submit button. After you see the confirmation screen, you have completed the TVR form. If you did not file anonymously, you will receive a thank you message and your case number on the confirmation screen. You will receive status updates throughout the entire allegation review lifecycle via email, including when it closes. If you file anonymously without providing an email address, you will not receive any status updates on the e-allegation. In addition, under the Moiety Statute 19 U.S.C. 1619 and CBP's Implementing Regulations at 19 CFR 161 Subpart B, informants who provide original information in an e-allegation or EPA allegation may apply for compensation or a Moiety award provided a net amount is recovered based on the information. For more information on e-allegations, visit the website For more information on moiety claims, visit the following site. To file an e-allegation or view recent webinars on trade violations, scan the QR codes below.